Okay, we've completely rinsed both hoppers and we're gonna start get ready to pull the dispenser head off and take the beater shafts out. But before we start disassembling the machine, we first want to make sure it is on the off position, all right? And then we're going to start pulling the head out. What you want to do is place a, an empty bucket underneath because you're going to get some water coming out, all right? Um, the other thing you want to have ready is a bin for you here. You're going to place all the parts into one bin. And then after that, we're going to bring them back to a three-bay sink. We're going to wash, rinse, and sanitize those parts before we bring them back and assemble them. So the first thing I've done again is I've shut my machine off and I'm going to start um, unscrewing these dispenser knobs and I'm going to place them all. I'm going to play, I, I like to place all the parts into one bucket so you don't misplace anything. It's a little easier that way. All right, now to take the dispenser head off, you want to keep, your, keep the knobs up a little bit. And you just want to push up just a little bit on them, and then you can kind of rock it back and forth so it pops out. All right. You see, we got some some water coming out. That water's pretty clean and clear. Tells us that we can rinse that pretty good. All right. The next thing we want to do is is nice and easy. Just slide the, uh, the beater shafts out. Okay. And we just want to watch, and make sure we don't drop any parts. Now we're going to take our, our the parts back to the three base sink and like I said we're going to wash those with soap and water. We're going to rinse them and then we're going to sanitize those. Okay we've got all our parts back from the uh, sink and where we've washed, rinsed and sanitized those. We're letting them air dry right now. While we're letting them air dry we came over here and we used some sanitizer solution on the hoppers and on the top and we also did the inside of the freezer cylinders. Okay we want to make sure those are nice and dry on the inside. <clears throat> So to reassemble, we're going to start with our beater shaft and our shaft seal, all right? We're going to take a little lube, we're going to put about a dime-sized amount, and we're just going to do the inside of the shaft seal where the, where the plastic part is, okay? I'm going to slide that on. And the next piece we're going to take is the breaker bar. Again, just another dime size. We're going to go on this, the front of that. And we're going to put a little bit on the breaker bar and the front of the breaker bar, just on the inside. All right. That fits in there nicely like that. Now the next thing we're going to get ready to do is put our scraper blades on. They only go on one way. If you put them on backwards, they're not going to fit in the machine. They go on this side. The flat side goes towards the top. And we just gently slide them in the uh, cylinder here. So they fit all the way to the back. And you're just going to give it a twist so you feel that lock in there. All right. We're going to do that with the second one, the same exact thing. You don't need much of this, just a little bit. That fits on there like that. And we take our blades and we're gonna set those in there like that. Again, the flat side going facing out. Slide them in there, and then you're going to twist and it locks it. All right. Now these breaker bars have to be, the flat side has to be horizontal in order for the dispensing head to fit on. <clears throat> now we're going to do the dispensing head. We're going to get that ready. And what we do is we have the O-rings already out. We're going to place the O-rings on the outside. And we're just going to do a little bit of lubricant on these here. What I like to do is dab a little bit on each side and just run it right around. This will give you a good seal on the machine. It's important to get every part. But again, less is better. All right, the next thing we have is our plunger rods. 
we want to take each um, each O-ring and just slide it right on, slide it right into place. 